50 years ago today, the largest earthquake in U.S. history shook Alaska. The 9.2 earthquake and tsunami claimed more than 100 lives, some here in Oregon. We sat down with a Eugene, a man who survived the quake. He shares his story of that scary day. It was almost a demonic roar was the sound that, that was coming up out of the ground. The Good Friday earthquake is forever etched in the mind of Eugene resident Bob Wolfskill. He was a 20-year-old GI stationed at Fort Richardson, Alaska, when his young world was shaken. I always kind of felt like it was a visual contradiction to most of the laws of physics. He says the ground waved. Three-story buildings going in three different directions at the same time, telephone poles being snapped off. The 9.2 earthquake, the largest in U.S. history and second largest in world history, lasted more than four minutes. What seemed like forever, you just sat there in, in complete helplessness because there was nothing you could do. You couldn't run from it. More than 100 lives were lost from the quake and a tsunami that reached the West Coast. Four lives were lost in Oregon and 12 from the small town of Crescent City, California. The devastation was terrible and the people were so... So resilient. The devastation, though, may have helped us be better prepared for another big one. The quake and tsunami played a role in the formation of the West Coast and Alaska Tsunami Warning Center. It also taught the U.S. Geological Survey what evidence to look for from previous quakes, including events in the Cascadia subduction zone off Oregon and Washington. It's good. It's great research. It's impressive. But as they showed in Japan, Mother Nature is not impressed at all of what we do to try to stop her. Wolfskill says he's relived the quake in his mind on this anniversary. He says the deadly shaking has actually helped keep him grounded for the last five decades. Yeah, but it, it'll humble you. It really will. It'll, it'll uh, kind of put you in your place. And Wolf Skill says he was stationed in Anchorage for nearly two more years after that quake and got to witness, in his words, the remarkable resilience of the people there as they overcame that disaster.